Hispanic market is a gold mine, and it's an opportunity for you as a small business person to expand your market, to sell more, to generate more revenue, but you have to know how to come at the Hispanic market. That's what this particular training episode is about here on Next Biz Success. My name is Lynn Hinderocker. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to introduce you today to Leticia Barajas. She's an expert in Hispanic marketing in the Omaha, Nebraska area. Leticia, thanks for joining us on Next Biz Success. Uh, thank you. We're, we're eager to learn all about the Hispanic marketing and particularly the event and festival aspect of it. As, as we've come to learn, it's probably a reasonable place to begin if you have a product sure. or service you want to sell to these. How large is the Hispanic market? If, if we haven't been watching carefully, uh, how, how big of a deal is it really for the average uh, vendor or, or person who has something to sell? Uh, well, nationally, um, uh, Hispanics or Latinos, you can use either term, sure. uh, have reached one trillion in spending power. One trillion? One trillion in oh, spending power. So it's a sizable market. Yes. Yeah. And what's even more surprising is um, the per capita spend is larger for the Hispanic market than their um, uh, Anglo counterparts. Really? <coughs> yes. Per individual, mm -hmm. the amount of money they're spending on products, goods, and services larger than the average Anglo. Yes. That's a national number. Yes. That's quite a factoid. I'm not sure most of us would have known that or realized that. Uh, no, it's a market that really has crept up um, uh, on um, uh, people who run businesses and have yeah. products and services to market. Now, are the Hispanics, are they spending money in the Anglo or mainstream market increasingly, or, or do they kind of just stay in their neighborhood and, 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 and spend money with their known and existing vendors that are physically located there? What's going on there? Uh, well, it really is a combination of both. Um, and certainly for the products uh, that are familiar to them from back home, uh, they can find those uh, in their neighborhood. Okay. Um, but they are very, uh, very, very uh, willing to go outside the neighborhood and mm -hmm. uh, spend uh, at any retail store just like anybody else. Okay, all right. So let's talk about retailing. Before we go any further, by the way, there are segments or aspects to the Hispanic market. It's not just one homogeneous market, right? Yes. Tell us about that. Um, well, actually, it's very very similar to the uh, mainstream or dominant culture market. Yeah. Uh, the Hispanic market likewise has segments and um, we can segment them by language. Uh, are they Spanish dominant? Um, are they English dominant? Or are they bilingual? Now let me ask you about that before we go further. Sure. The, the English dominant ones, those would be like second generation families, second. kids that are, are mm -hmm. coming through school right now. Um, it's um, the established immigrants, which is more than 10 immigrants, but uh, meaning they came from another country, and okay. that means, uh, uh, but established means that they have been here more than 10 years. Okay. Uh, it's their children who were born here, so that's the second generation. Right, right, right. And of course, it's third generation, sure. um, where both parents are born here. All right. Is it easier to, to market for the average Anglo managed small business? Is it easier to get to the younger folks that are? you know, real comfortable with pop culture and so on and so forth, or uh, is it no different or what? Uh, yes, uh, you want to um, uh, market really to, uh, for the recent immigrant market, um, you are marketing both to the parents and to the children. Okay. Uh, and yes, the children are more familiar with the pop culture. Uh, the parents, because they uh, bring their culture of origin with them sure. and they're adults versus children, right. uh, it takes more explanation and more time. Um, and so, uh, if you think in that, those terms, uh, it is easier to market to the children. Okay, all right. Now, Letitia, let's say, for instance, I have a small business uh, um, and I'd like to uh, um, have more Hispanic customers. Uh, maybe I have a retail orientation or I'm a manufacturer, either one. Mm -hmm. uh, you've shared before, is, is the festival or event a really a good place to begin? I want to kind of test the waters. How do I do that? Sure. Well, first of all, you have to keep in mind that marketing Hispanics is all based on building relationships first. Okay, let me, um, let me back up. So building relationships. Now, we all know in marketing and sales and so on, you always have to build a relationship. So that doesn't strike me as anything particularly different. No, um, but what, uh, again, what may escape um, the average person uh, right. who's interested in marketing is while with the English market, the established market, it is just that, it is established. Okay. Um, you don't have to do quite as much educating about the product or service that you're selling. Okay. Uh, you don't have to um, be at, um, spend as much time on where you're located. Okay. Um, but with the Hispanic market, um, first of all, they need to know who you are, right. um, where you're located, 
uh, and they are going to have more questions and take a little more time in explaining to uh, explaining your product to them. Okay. Now let's pretend we've got a product, uh, uh, some tangible product we manufacture or fabricate. Uh, maybe we have retailers in one part of town, but we're not selling to Hispanics. Uh, you mentioned before, how do we use festivals or special events to get our product in front of them and just figure out if they even like what we have to sell? Sure. Um, well, first of all, there are two festivals, the Cinco de Mayo uh, and in May. Um, okay. It's actually May 5th, but um, uh, it's celebrated, of course, uh, on a weekend. And then okay. there is El Grito, uh, which uh, is September 16th. And again, um, uh, it's celebrated on a Saturday near September 16th. Okay. What does El Grito mean? Um, uh, um, the cry. Um, okay. It's uh, the uh, Mexican Independence Day. Okay. Um, and Cinco de Mayo is? Uh, it is uh, similar, but it does, uh, it, for Mexicans, it doesn't have quite the emphasis as uh, El Grito, because uh, El Grito um, on the 16th of September is like our 4th of July. Oh, okay. Um, oh. And uh, so that, that's the difference. Sure. And there are, uh, usually every community has an event or festival around those, that period of time. And anybody yes. can, what, rent a booth or put up a little tent or a display or whatever and have their, have their product there, right? Uh, right. On Cinco de Mayo, there's a parade uh, and opportunity to put your booth up. And a lot of people do uh, take that opportunity to market. It's not all recreation. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, also business. Um, and the way that a business would use that is um, they would uh, establish a booth and uh, they would uh, have their wares there. Uh, and they're mainly concerned with getting people to know who they are and what they have to sell. Now, let me ask you this. You, you, you have a marketing orientation, obviously. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about branding, a traditional kind of image and reputation building, or are we talking about promotion, where we really want somebody to take an action and purchase a product or service? you know, what, uh, kind of the first time we meet them. Which of those two is important when you first kind of get into doing some Hispanic marketing? Sure, um, I would say the branding, uh, okay. getting, getting aware, uh, becoming aware of you as a brand. Uh, and okay. then, um, when they're comfortable with that, then right. you can move on to the promotion and um, uh, and then promote to them. Try to the spur a transaction. Service. Right, sure. exactly. And service it up. Well, right. Letitia Barajas with Hispanic Marketing Associates in the Omaha, Nebraska area, thanks for just giving us a little bit of a glimpse into this marketplace. You're so welcome. many retailers are excited about trying to serve the community but don't quite know how to begin. Right. And you've been extremely helpful. My name is Lynn Hinderocker. This is Next Biz Success. You can crack the code, you can sell your product to the Hispanic market, and they spend. They're there. They're looking for your product or service. You got to do it right. Check us out on Next Biz Success. Keep on going and keep on growing. Thanks.